Hello and welcome to my Final Fantasy VII Hell House boss guy. Basically the whole uh, battle with this boss is just matching uh, the house's uh, elements. So as you can see here, uh, the house uh, now is on fire, so which means you have to hit it with ice. Uh, every ice spell counts towards the stagger uh, uh, meter but every time the house switches elements uh, you have to uh, try and match the other uh, element uh, that corresponds so what i'm seeing here is try and hit it when it's on fire with ice when it's on ice with fire when it's uh, green you have to uh, hit it with wind and so on and so forth so uh, the house has four main phases uh, the first one is just a simple matter of hitting it every time with a nice elemental a nice spell and from then on uh, it's just according to uh, whatever happens uh, the fight is kind of random uh, meaning that uh, the house's spells are not always in the same order and uh, you have to uh, dodge every time you see the house uh, flying around because it's probably going to land on one of your characters. Uh, what I did in this one is um, I just uh, tried and hit it every time that I could, but uh, keep in mind that every time you have two ATB gauges on Aerith, uh, try and heal up your whole party. As for Cloud, uh, you have to use cloud and try and position yourself behind the house or um, anywhere that the, the house is not attacking from, if that makes sense. Uh, the thing is, uh, you have to go all in. So use your summons, uh, use your uh, limits, use everything you have. Uh, try and keep them uh, both, your both characters alive, as the house will uh, try and destroy you every time uh, one of them is dead and you probably won't have enough time to uh, use the phoenix down to revive him. Um, I had to use it a couple of times, I think three or four times in this uh, video, but more than that it's, uh, it's enough. So if you have, I don't know, 10 uh, phoenix down uh, potions on you, uh, about 5 to 10 uh, high potions and 5 mega potions, let's say, uh, it's enough. If you have Aerith um, summon, you can use that or any ice summon that you have at this point. Because the house is basically um, weak to anything ice related, frost related, so Blizz, Blizzara, Blizzard, everything that you have with ice. Uh, all I did was use Cloud as a backup for a healing items, so I, I had to build up his ATP meter. So every time uh, one of the characters needed a heal and Aerith was down or out, uh, I used Cloud to revive or to heal Aerith. So basically 90% of the damage I think I did in this fight was with uh, Aerith instead of Cloud. Um, the second and third phase, uh, the house just gets more aggressive and he'll try to, uh, or it will try to uh, use more spells. And the fourth uh, phase is just the house flying, but the same spells are into effect. So as long as you're careful and as long as uh, you can uh, keep your ATD gauge up with both characters so you can heal up and do magic spells on the house, again Blizzard or Blizzara, um, that's going to uh, go great. Uh, again, don't forget to use anything that you have, like summons or uh, limits or anything like that. It shouldn't be a big problem with the house uh, unless you forget to heal constantly and to hit constantly with your uh, spells. Uh, if you try Cloud's Triple Slash or uh, anything, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, the Punisher mode or Operator mode, you'll see that every time you hit the house uh, you'll just bounce back and you won't do a lot of damage so you're basically here your uh, major damage dealer is uh, Aerith with her uh, spells so i hope uh, that helped you uh, you can watch the whole fight and uh, don't forget if this helped 
like and subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.
this? The old switcheroo? As but, usual, the hell house is you've got this. No, it's good! Oh, 
to make this happen. Who am I? Feeling chilly? You're 